inheritance in C sharp. Again, this is one of those fundamental cornerstones you really have to know when you start programming. Inheritance allows us to write much less code and for our classes to inherit a bunch of properties and methods that we can expand upon. So let's find out what this is all about by opening up csharppad.com. Let's define a class. And let's call this class vehicle. Public class vehicle. Let's give it some properties of integer top speed and integer or not integer, let's have a string of color. Then let's put an access method in there to grab out our top speed and color. So public integer get top speed and let's return our top speed. Then let's have a public string get color and of course we're going to return our color. Finally we need a constructor. So public vehicle and we will just have an empty constructor for this. Okay, so we have our vehicle. What if we wanted to make a truck class? Well, if you're thinking linearly, I can't even say that word, linearly, then you might copy all of this and create a new class called truck. But that would be the long way of doing things. Still valid, but nonetheless the long way. What we can do is create a class that inherits from vehicle. Public class truck. Put a colon in and start typing vehicle. Now this class I'm going to leave completely empty. Then what we're going to do is actually before we carry on I'm going to set my top speed in vehicle equal to 90 and my color equal to red just so we've got some variables to play with. Okay. So we've created our truck that inherits from vehicle. You'll notice I've put no code whatsoever in here. Let's see what happens, and I'll just make a little space for us, when I type truck my truck is equal to a new truck and close off my line. Now what I'm going to do is console dot right line my truck I'm going to grab this truck I've just created dot and you'll notice it gives me get top speed and get color. So we'll print out our color. So what inheritance does is it grabs a class and basically steals everything from it and repurposes it for itself. So if I run that, we have a truck that has a color of red. And that is inheritance. Inheritance is incredibly powerful. So if you think about inheritance like evolution. We all came from some kind of single cell organism. So that organism 
has, let's say, a property of cell. And we all have cells, no matter what species. So we inherited that cell's properties as we went down through the tree of life. Now inheritance can be used multiple times. So if I copy these lines, and in fact I reload the page to make everything a little more clear, I'm going to paste them in and what I'm going to do is remove the get speed and remove the top speed. I'm going to leave everything else in there but just smash it all together so we have a little more room to see what's going on. So I have my public class of truck. Now what if I wanted to create some property inside of truck called string size is equal to large. Well, I could create another class, public class large truck, and this would inherit from truck, and again, I don't have to put anything inside of here. Then I could say large truck my new truck is equal to a new large truck. Then let's do our console.write line my new truck dot and what we need is to get the size so inside of this public class truck, let's have public string get size and of course we will return the size. Don't worry if I'm going a little fast right now, I'm going to explain it all in a minute. And then in our console.write line, my truck dot get size. That should compile, but, ah, that's because I've put a semi, a colon rather than a semicolon at the end there. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, we've defined a vehicle with a color. Then we defined a truck and we added an extra property called large and then we defined a class called large truck which simply inherited from truck which inherited from vehicle. So what I'm trying to show you here is we can inherit multiple times. Vehicle to truck to large truck. And when we do that we pick up all of the properties and methods along the way such that I can create my new truck and I have access to all of those properties and methods. And if I click go, it'll return the size, which is large. 